What is the inspiration? What is the motivation? I state up myself quest to understand what I'm doing in my life. Am I motivated or am I inspired? But you can relate this to your daily activities from day to day, week by week, month by month. You know, when it comes to new year, we had to set up the goals for new resolution. We're going to lose the weight. I'm going to fall in love. I'm going to marry somebody. I'm going to start a business. But somehow we don't stay entirely true to that task. And why is that? Are we not enough inspired or we are not enough motivated? And I want to share with you today my research will discover why we are not motivated or who need to inspire us. But to start, I want you to take it. Motivation is internal drive while inspiration is external influence. That's correct. Motivation is internal drive. Motivation is primarily an internal force that drives individuals to take actions, set goals, and achieve desired outcomes. Motivation is goal-oriented. What does that mean? You set up the goal. It often involves specific goals and taking steps to reach them. Like, you know, losing the weight. In my example, that is my continuous motivation to lose the weight. I want you to remember this. Motivation is often linked to tangible rewards or outcomes. That's the reason why losing the weight or I'm motivated to buy the new car, I'm motivated to buy a new house, it's tangible. Motivation can be intrinsic or extrinsic. Motivation can be intrinsic, that means coming from within such a personal values and interests, or extrinsic driven by external factors like rewards or deadlines. Another thing I want you to do as well remember, motivation is action-centric. What that means? Action centric means that motivation focuses on taking actions even when that initial enthusiasm or inspiration has faded. And now, most important element, it is consistent. Motivation is often more consistent and dependable as it can be sustained through discipline and routine. And I know this while I was in the military. The actions was continuously being applied. You know, it's, it's consistent and dependable. And it goes routine, day by day, night by night. It was motivation to we become better soldiers, better officers, better NCOs, better fighters, better warriors, to understand better systems of weapons and protection, and the list goes on. That is motivation, it's internal drive. So don't forget this one. It's goal-oriented, can be intrinsic or extrinsic. It can be action-centric and consistent. Five elements. Never forget, never think that different can be. That is motivation. So what is inspiration? Well, inspiration is external influence. External influence. Inspiration is often powered by external factors such as people, events, experiences. It's the feeling of being influenced or emotionally moved by something or someone. Greatest example of that it is when we go listen to public speakers. You know that hype you get this one? That is external influence. You know, public speakers are there to instigate in you, to lick that spark, and I don't know how long it's going to last inside of you, that external influence of public speaker, but usually it lasts a couple of days, most a couple of hours, and then they fade and goes out because it's an external influence. It's influenced by somebody else. That is the difference with motivation. Motivation is internal, it's yours, instangible, it's action, it's goal-oriented. External influence is, let's go watch the movie, let's go listen to the public speaker, you go there and they give you all these great speeches. And then, a few hours later, or a few days later, you even forgot what's happened. Number two, well, external influence requires emotional response. It's primarily an emotional response that evokes a sense of awe, admiration, or enthusiasm. Pressure can come from witnessing someone's achievement, hearing a powerful speech. You see, as I say to you, external influence, emotional response, emotional response, while with motivation, having internal drive and goal oriented. This is emotional response. And that's why people forgetting to understand the important difference between motivation and inspiration. 
Inspiration is always going to come from outside, outside world, public speakers, TV, newspapers. Inspiration as well is not necessarily goal oriented. That means that while inspiration can lead to motivation and action, I want you to understand this. Inspiration leads you into motivation and action, but it doesn't always require specific goals or actions. It can simply be a feeling of heightened creativity or enthusiasm. So you can be creative in your head. You don't need to necessarily, you can start imagining things. That's what it is. It's a external factor, external people, emotional response. And then you will start creating in your head some desires, dreams, but does this need to be goal oriented? It's intermittent. What does that mean? Inspiration can be fleeting, coming and going rather than constant, like a motivation must be constant, so so dry. People may seek to capture the hardest inspiration when it strikes. And that's why inspiration works on public speaking. So next time you go this is a public speaker, I guarantee you, you're gonna be inspired. Not motivated, you're gonna be inspired because they give you that emotional response. And importantly, inspiration is very creative and very artistic because it plays a significant role in creative endeavors such as art, writing, and innovation. That's where the inspiration comes from, mostly as a tangible results. People are going to write a book, uh, people are going to do photography, they're going to do something. In essence, motivation and is the internal drive that propels us humans to act and achieve specific goals. That is motivation. Don't be fooled. It's internal. It's a goal oriented and often arising from a mix of internal and external factors. Inspiration, in other hand, in other hand, inspiration, it's the emotional response to external stimulus that can lead to motivation, but doesn't always result in specific action or goals. I want you to have this clear in your head. Nobody can motivate you except yourself. You can be inspired and push into motivation, but no opposite. You'll be motivated to be ins to inspire something. That is the difference between motivation and inspiration. Motivation is internal, inspiration is external. And I'm still wondering how many times in my life I try to achieve some goals because I was being inspired by external factors and I never achieved them because I had this emotional response. You, on the other hand, guys, have opportunity to be motivation for yourself and you can inspire other people by creating and achieving the goals. Let me know in the comment section below. Feel free to subscribe, share, like, comment. Motivation or inspiration.